Radio Café. Ride with us every last Friday night of the month. Cruise the airwaves and savor the sound on Radio Café. A place where we vibe to the rhythms and savor the beats from hidden gems to classic all stars. On Radio Café. Kick back and enjoy the ride. Experience the flavor through sound. On Radio Café. This is Falcon, and you're tuned in to Radio Café here on KPFA 94.1 FM. I have the honor of bringing in Steve Wolf and Mason Holcomb into the studio once again. Last time they were on this show, you heard them in a group called Tito. They've moved on to something new, and we've brought them back in to show us what they have been doing. And so you can listen to them, of course, too. Steve, Mason, how you guys doing? Just fine. Falcon, how are you, man? Doing good, doing good. It's great to be back. Yes, definitely. All right. So if you guys would like, take the mic, take the stage. Show our audience the yeah. magic you can bring with sound. Okie dokie.
That was amazing. Please continue. another one by Steve. He was one of my favorites of his and asked him to teach it to me. And it took a while, but uh, it's one of my favorites to, to perform. Yeah, well, you pretty much turn it into your song. You know, it works well for you. All right. So, so we have some more coming up? Or? That's right. Yeah. All right. Turn. You're not prepared. 
Sounds, that sounds amazing. All right. Let's go back to Stephen Mason. To the stars where I 
right. And now, we got some more Mason and Steve coming up for you. Mason, Steve, what are you guys going to do next? This next one here is uh, one of Steve's that he played with an old band of his called Pack of Wolves. Let's, let's begin. Okay. Yellow roses never said 
This is Falcon, and you're listening to Radio Café here on KPFA 94.1 FM. Mason Holcomb and Steve Wolf. Now, Mason, Steve, how you guys doing right now? That was a, a wonderful performance. Thank you, man. Yeah. All right. Why don't you tell our listeners a little bit about how you guys came together? What brought you two into a duo that you are right now? Well, um, we both live in Fairfax, uh, in the North Bay, across the bridge. And um, I was around uh, senior year of high school that I saw him playing in town. And uh, I was um, mostly interested in uh, art at that point. I was a painter and I was getting ready to go to art school. Yeah, you studied at the, the San Francisco Academy of Art, is that correct? That's right. All right. And um, But I also had a, a real intense um, love of music, and uh, there was even a guitar in the art room at my high school. Um, so that was already buzzing around in my brain. And then I ran into Steve, and I just saw him playing, and I I knew I wanted to do that. Yeah, I remember. Mm-hmm. I remember. All right. And then Steve, uh, do you remember where you were performing at? Mm-hmm. I think I think I was in it playing in a coffee shop like once a week in in town, and Mason would come in after high school. This one is not there any anymore either. I think it was called Bookbeat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of changes. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I was playing with a friend of mine. I can't remember what day of the week it was. But we would see Mason come in and, and we had, we, we knew he was going to approach one of us, you know, and uh, he did. And uh, mm-hmm. Mason came up to the house and threw a guitar and a bass in his hand and um, she just seemed to want to come back for more so right. as long as you keep coming back i'll keep throwing stuff at you and would you say mason was kind of a natural talent or did you guys did steve end up mentoring you well uh i didn't really know how to sing um so he just threw it at me okay and um he didn't tell me how hard any of it was <laughs> <laughs> and i think that was the secret yeah you you sound you sound great together you're able to harmonize in a way that a lot of people can't well, music is, uh, it's, 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 it's a big commitment. It's very hard work. And, uh, I figured it was best just to act casual about it. All right. And not let him know it was hard <laughs> and, uh, and, and see what happened. You know, um, like it was no, like it was everyday occurrence, which it is now, but it's, he's learned that it's hard work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So. I know you guys have been performing around, and you guys probably have some shows coming up. Why don't you tell our listeners where they can go to see you guys next? Well, as a duo, me and Steve play every Sunday at uh, the Left Bank, a a French restaurant in Larkspur. Okay. We just uh, got done with that and came over here to to Berkeley uh, right after finishing up. And for our uh, rock band, Starchild, that we're developing, we're going to be... playing at the Fairfax Festival. Um, oh, okay. He has a big, big party. Um, whole, whole Bay Area shows up. And uh, we're going to be on the eco stage. That's up by the, uh, the baseball field. And uh, we'll be there Saturday, June 10th at 12 o'clock noon. Okay, okay. That's June 10th, Saturday, June 10th, the Fairfax Festival. 
you can go see Star Child with Mason, Steve, and the whole new band. I, I kind of might, I might want to make a trip out to Fairfax to check this out. Oh, let us know if you're coming in. I'd love to see you. All yeah, right. You know. We also have a trio that we, we play like every couple of months uh, with my old friend Tisha Bell, who I've been playing with for 35 years. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a kind of, kind of a, a dreamscape setting of, of, of our songs. You know, it's very, very hypnotic. So we're, we're bringing that one out of mothballs right now. We just got back from Iowa, actually. We did a, oh, wow. some benefits out back there for, to raise money for their school department, for the music department. Yeah. All right. So that was an experience, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, then Mason are are going to to uh, to Germany in in August for a couple of weeks to do the, the dive bar tour. Oh so, wow! Yeah. Yeah. So first time in Europe. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. Apparently, yeah. there is a, a Grateful Dead community in Munich that we're going to meet. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. So aside from that, your music, is it available online? Can people find you on, whether it be a streaming service or find your music on iTunes or possibly Bandcamp? Yeah, we're on iTunes and Amazon. Um, Steve and I uh, released a album. It was, we called it Children of the Light. Children of the Light. Yeah, look up Children of the Light by Steve Wolf Mason Holcomb. Okay, and that's Holcomb pretty easy to spell but i believe that's h o l c o m b b yes okay just so you know there's a silent b in that name yes <laughs> and, and also our you know our our, our cd from uh, the, the tito project is also still available okay that's called more than connected more than connected tito and listeners who've been listening to the show for a while may have heard mason and steve when they came in with the trio that sadly is no longer here called Tito and that band like some of those some of those songs are still stuck in my head yeah mine too yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah we we still miss Ben we love him uh he he was faced with the choice of continuing on as a professional musician or um raising a family so he has kid number 2 now okay yeah no that's that's noble mm -hmm. yes definitely yeah. yes. you could say that's that's music in its own right yes so uh, uh, Steve Mason, is there anything else you'd like to say before we go or anything else you'd like to plug or anything uh, you want our audience to know? Well, we, we have like an, uh, like a Facebook page and, uh, you can, uh, look up Steve, uh, Samurai Wolf, uh, Star Child. Oh yes. You can, you can look up, uh, us on Facebook, uh, Star, Star Child. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're on Instagram. Uh, we haven't really built that, uh, website architecture yet we're getting on that okay and do you have like a direct website that links all these together or anything like that no no no, no. so so i just recommend going to facebook is that front slash star child can they find you that way or do they need to search yeah front sl front slash star child okay perfect perfect and then there's no numbers it's just star child as is yeah, as is yeah no yeah. spaces no dashes everything yeah and Instagram, when you guys do start working on that, do you know the uh, handle name? We are Starchild Band. Starchild Band. Uh, Starchild underscore band. Okay. Starchild underscore band. That's Instagram.com front slash Starchild yeah. underscore band. Yeah. And by the way, the Starchild Band project, there are just some amazing songs coming out of that, out of that, uh, that, that configuration right now. I'm just really stoked to be a part of that too so, so are you the uh the main writer for these songs i'm i'm the, the there are two writers yeah. there's steve and we're collaborating with uh, another songwriter named dana lindstrom dana lindstrom yeah. all right and and what what instruments does dana play or is dana just a vocalist he's guitar player he also plays uh some keys okay okay and, uh yeah he's a vocalist so the core of the band is um us three all right and uh, yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the um, writing goes into like creating three-part harmony and um, we all play electric guitar. So uh, we got to coordinate three, three sounds like that. Would you say this is kind of like a Crosby, Stills and Nash kind of? I think modern Pink Floyd. Modern Pink Floyd. Okay. I also appreciate the harmon the three part harmonies you'd hear with, with Crosby, Stills and Nash. Oh yeah. Then and, you'll, you'll like this then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, all right, that was great. Thank you very much for coming into the studio. Sure, anytime. Our pleasure, man. Thank you for inviting us. All right, and once again, listeners, just reminding you, you can go see them as Star Child, the full band, coming up June 10th in Fairfax at the Fairfax Festival. And you can Google that, look that up online to find out all the details, but it's a festival worth going to. Fairfax is west of San Rafael, in Marin County, in case you do not know, and you drive out, you know, past uh, Larkspur or go out past San Rafael, and you will find a very little, unique, magical, art-filled community of people that there's just a vibe out there. And there's there's a few venues out there, like I think, what was it, 99? 19th Broadway? 19th and Broadway, yes. It, the, yes, it's still there. It's been uh, new ownership okay. called Max now, but they... People still think of it as 19th Broadway. Yeah, I know. That's 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 one of the spots yeah. right there. Yeah, we actually played there a few weeks ago with the with the band. It worked okay. received pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's good news. And Mason, Steve, thank you very much for coming through. Listeners, we're gonna go listen to something.